Okay. So the type of home ownership, are you a renter or owner? Neither. I actually still live at home with my parents. Oh, okay. My husband's from Scotland, so we're working on our visa stuff right now. So he's still in the UK. <gasps> oh, he's not even here. He travels here. back and forth. Oh, okay. <laughs> But it's all right. Are they owner? Is that, is yes, they they're owner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it a single family detached? It is. Okay. And then the date they approximately, do you know they moved in at home? Yes. It was literally right before I was born. So, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I want to say it was like, it was September 1992. I don't know the exact day. Does that, oh, okay. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Just a rough estimate would be great. Okay. And have you always lived in Blakely? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, tell me how your family ended up in Blakely County. Um, my was. whole family, my whole family, so like my great grandparents. Oh, so you got several generations. Yes. That have lived here. So is it like great grandparents, great great all before um, that too? Well, on my mom's side, it would have been great. Mm-hmm. Like my great grandparents from my mom's side, but my dad's side, I'm sure, probably goes back a little bit further. Really? Yep. Well. My main name is Dykes, and Cochran actually used to be called Dykesboro. So really? There's a whole lot of Dykeses in Cochran. Oh, that's so. awesome. So you just, that's a lot. Man, I'm so excited when I hear about all these generations. That's, that's awesome that you got a lot of history here. So what, like, do they have, like, farmland or? Mm-hmm. My dad and his family own oh, okay. farmed, and we still own farmland in Blackley County. He isn't farm anymore, but we uh-huh. lease it. Oh, how many acres do y'all have? Oh, um, I would say total, mm-hmm. probably close, 800, 1,000 wow. acres, maybe. Wow, that's a lot of acres. And that was, like, passed on through family? Mm-hmm. What about your mom? Did she, did her family have farms? They too? don't farm, mm-hmm. Okay. Dang. And when we have, like, family land that we, like, live on, which mm-hmm. is probably close to 10 acres, but it's not farmland. But that's just ownership for My y'all. Mom, yeah. To, to like build houses. If right. You to. Right. Oh, okay. That's awesome though. Okay. So, um, as far as what your parents' home, can you tell me a little bit about that home? Is it um, uh, the square footage? Um, how many bedrooms and bathroom? Well, I have no idea about square footage, but it's mm-hmm. got let's see, four bed. Yeah. No, three bedrooms. Okay, three bedrooms. And then. Two full baths and two half baths. And then, is it all brick, vinyl? Vinyl. Okay. And then, um, and you see y'all know the square footage estimate? Nope. I have no idea. Okay. (laughs) And then, what kind of roof is it? Do you know? What do you mean? The roof of it. Is it like a shingle? A shingles. Okay, shingles. Okay. And then, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your um of the home or on the property as part of the business or as part of a program through your utility no okay if you had the option would you put rooftop solar on the home i would yes okay and then why well i mean it's a it's a big investment up front as far as financial Mm -hmm. investment um and i think within like 10 years you would eventually get that money back and kind of pay for itself okay plus i think it's better for the environment if it's more self-sustainable right plus my husband is an electrical engineer and renewable energy is like his thing so he Dang, has, why he ain't here so i know i'm like him. i know i'm like so you should just scop in for the interview <laughs> right oh i wonder could i do that i mean when he's here he lives in buckley county but when does he come back um I don't know yet. We're waiting for our visa stuff to get approved. So, oh. you know, like, it's like our final green card visa. So really? When he gets there, he'll be here. But oh, that's awesome. So, what does he do, you said? He just finished his master's um, degree in London mm-hmm. uh, for electrical engineering. So, he does all this solar panels? He's and... really interested in all that, like, renewable energy sources. Really? That's what he do? Like, that's what he's... That's what he likes to study. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that what he studied for his master's? Mm-hmm. Electrical and power. Did he build any? No, he didn't build any. Um, he wrote a paper on all kinds of like simulations as far as power resources and. I might need to Skype him one day. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We might need to do a Zoom meeting. 
and um, get him to do be part of this interview because I would love to hear his thought process on stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. So I like to talk about a little bit about adaption on rooftop solar in general. So here is a map of the U.S. Mm-hmm. on this blank one with a pen. I would like for you to check where you think in those states they have rooftop solar at. And it's not no right or wrong answers. You know, just you can check it, put a star, okay. and just, you know, think about places you think would have rooftop solar on their homes. It kind of depends because I feel like areas in certain states would. If right. that makes sense. It's not really a state as a whole, but... Yes, certain part of the areas mm-hmm. of the, like, the county areas. Mm-hmm. Is this for business or for homeowners? Homeowners. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's probably more than that, but... <laughs> it's all right. Okay. So, you have checked off California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, um, North Carolina, Tennessee... Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia. So, with that being said, I'll let you use that to refer back to. Um, what makes this community so different um, in those states that you stated compared to the state of Georgia or in Blakely, where you're from? Um, not necessarily state as a whole, but mm-hmm. if you look at maybe different regions in each of these states, uh-huh. um, I would say more of your upper class families would have. Uh Uh-huh. Just because it's such a big financial investment up front, um, most middle class or in the poverty range families wouldn't be able to afford to have that on their homes. Right. Um, And most of these places, like if you look at like California, just Mm -hmm. as far as how these people live and their, um, the way they, uh, their ideology on things. Like if you take California, for example, they're all about Helping the environment as far as a mm-hmm. whole, their state's really big in that. And so I would think they would have more of a push for it, whether it's through grants that they can afford to do that or mm-hmm. it's just more of a well it's more of a well known thing as far as how they work and what they do for the environment and for you as a homeowner. Right. Okay. And then why do you think some of these people here um have invested most solar on their rooftops? Um, just because, one, I think they think it's better for the environment or believe yeah. that it's better. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we live in such a sunny place, it seems a waste not to mm-hmm. take advantage of the natural resource we do have. Right. Um, and it pays itself, it pays for itself in the long run. If yeah. you think of, if you're going to be in the same house mm-hmm. your whole life, yeah. within 10 to 15 years, That's you'll have true. your money back. So, do you think, uh, why do the people here in Blakely, why do you think they don't have it? Just the financial resources for the startup costs. Okay. And maybe even um, knowledge awareness. Okay. And then here's the second part of it. We have um, a blame map with the state of Georgia. But then we have counties. That's just enough. And here, I would like for you to mark um, where in the state of Georgia counties that you think that would have rooftop. Okay. Panels on their home. This terrible shenanigans. Can you tell me what county Columbus, Georgia is in? Oh, is that... Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Where is that? Oh, it's okay. Uh, I think Muskogee. Isn't it over here? Muskogee County. Uh, I'm sorry, this is taking me way longer than uh, Oh, no, it's fine. Let's see. Uh, is the same Muskogee? It's in the northwest part of the state. Let's see. There it is. Oh, okay. oh it actually says Columbus, like from here. Yes. Oh, it does? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was such a waste of time. Oh God! You check all the ones you want to check the county wise. Yes, and I know there's way more than what I checked. It's okay. This is just this is just an estimate. So you pretty much have the northern Atlanta metro area and outside counties. Um, You even got what is this Forsyth, 
and then we got Gwinnett, and then you got Macon, and then you have Houston, and then you have Twigs, and then Columbus. So, with that being said, I'll let you go on to that. With the counties that you selected in the state of Georgia, why did um, what makes these people from that community different from where you are from in Blakely County? To be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's all right. As far as I, I mean, I don't think there's like a financial difference, except for like if you look at the more metropolitan Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. um, just typically near a bigger city, you have more. I mean, financial. Uh -huh. um, aspect is a little higher in some of those communities in those counties. Mm -hmm. Um, but where I'm more, it's like I know there's like solar farms in like those areas. Yeah. So yeah. I don't really know why as far as maybe they just have the resources and land mm -hmm. to have those or if they've gotten grants. Mm -hmm. um, I know in Dublin they've got a solar farm down there which is the one Mr. Bill Cootie's over. I think it's down in Dublin. Uh -huh. And then at one of the Dublin schools they actually have solar panels that um, mm -hmm. power like the help power the school. Right. So I'm not sure how the school got that. I'm sure it was a grant that they probably so. asked for. Yeah. And that makes plenty of sense. And then there's a huge solar farm out towards like Twix County. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So that yeah, that would be a land availability and they might be, like you said, knowledgeable about what's out there to mm -hmm. get this stuff installed. So what about any of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their rooftop? No. Why do you think they don't? Again, um, it's really costly. To, I mean, it all comes down to, I think, money. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people, as far as my generation, know about solar, mm -hmm. like power and right. why it's beneficial and a good thing. It's just... Mm -hmm not necessarily having the financial resources or even being homeowners. Like right. a lot of people my age don't even own a home yet. Right. So that kind of limits it as well. That is true. Okay. Anything else you'd like to talk about as far as with this? I mean I don't think I have anything else to add unless you got any more <laughs> questions. Yeah, I don't.